In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the manual printhead cleaning of your Epson EcoTank ET 2800 printer. This will help you to fix your printer that is printing the blank pages or if there is ink missing or if any ink is not working properly. So it's not a very complicated process. It takes a little bit longer, but it is easy to do. Now the first step is to unlock the print head. For that we have to give a copy command to the printer. As soon as the print head is moving, we will unplug the printer. And open the front section. And you will see the chamber here. Now give a copy command. Unplug the power cable. Now we have to lift this section, so just lift it completely on the top. You will see it will stand itself. Here we have to remove couple of screws. One is just here. So just take it off. And the other one is just on the top from here so you can clearly see this is a silver screw and just take it out now you can lift this section and push the lock mechanism back side and also push it on the side and push this one out now you can lift it so once you take it off now we have to secure this top cover so we can just place something to hold it in a position here is our print head so we can just move it to the middle now remove this plate so just and push it push this lock out now we have to remove these ink cartridges so start from here press it and take it out Just do it one by one for all four. Now we can also remove this section so that we can take it out. Now from here we can just take these ink pipes out. Place it on one side. So print head is underneath. Before that we have to take this plate out. This plate is locked from both sides. There are two sides on it. So once you press it from one side and lift it with the finger and do it from the other side, it will come out. Don't break it. Once you do that you will see there are total three screws to take out so let's start from here place your finger and we just push it from here and just lift the print head that's the print head here now you can remove this electronic chip from here so it's easy we have to clean this print head so that the ink will start to flow take a tissue take the tissue paper and spray some water take your print head Clean this area. So once you clean it with the wet tissue paper, the once you clean the print head, we can keep it back inside. Or if you have a new print head, you can just use that and install it. So in case your print head is damaged or if it's not working, you can replace. If it's clogged, you can just unclog it. Take your print head.
now we can place it back just let it go it will settle itself now we have to place the screws so three screws will go back there place this plate back so just slide it in in its position once you press it automatically it will lock also check these ink cartridges if they are in good condition like check if all the inks are there that means it will work easily now place this back so let's start with the last one from this side place them one by one so there's kion magenta yellow black now place these pipes here so two go all together and the next and another two goes here place this sheet so that's kind of lock now lock it now check if it's moving everything is okay yeah now place this cover so place that edge inside and that and then press from here so it will lock and adjust itself now just remove this support and let it go down on this corner you just have to push it to the one side and let it go so we just placed it back now we have to lift it up and place the screws now place the black screw first now place the silver one from the top All the screws are installed back now close it also close this section now plug in the power cable wait for your printer to switch on once we do the manual print head cleaning next step is to do the automatic print head cleaning so that printer starts to work normally so go to the display panel press ok on the main screen scroll ahead and look for the maintenance scroll ahead and look for the print head cleaning so that's here press ok and click ok to proceed load A4 size paper in the paper tray it's going to take around 3 minutes so click on the ok to continue and start let's check the print so here we can see that's the nozzle check and it displays almost all the inks are showing up only one of the ink has missing line click on the yes and it will again do the print head cleaning don't do it more than three times it will take at least 10 to 12 hours for the printer to improve the print quality so right now i'm just going to click on the no and click on the home button 
so let's do a copy so that goes here I'm going to do the color copy we can clearly see all the four rings are working that means the manual print head cleaning is a very good option to save the ink and just start printing normal but definitely the print head is uncloaked and it has started to work there is a very less amount of ink that we use hopefully it helps you to fix the problem thanks for watching